Yeah. Right, everyone. So, so sorry. The new live stream is this one. Okay. So it should say, so, so sorry. This is the stream. Okay. Uh, now we've got a whole new code. So I need you to log out of Quizbit and log back in. Okay. So can everyone put a. Yeah, try to use a new computer. A new computer doesn't have the software to do it. Okay, so the new code, if anyone was watching this, the new code is Q51682. That's Q51682. Okay, so go back into Quizbit and don't use a Surface Pro piece of rubbish. We'll move that over here out of the way so we can bin that one later. Yeah, actually, we need that screen so let's not break it anymore. Okay. This is what was causing the problems, okay? So never buy new computers. Okay, so we're going for a wholly different new, new message. Hello? Am I still on a Facebook Live with... What was the code, James? Ah, what was the code? New one. Q what? Q5. Yeah. Post. So I'll put that to my Facebook friends. So Q5. One six eight two log out and in. Right, okay, well, 16 people looking on YouTube at the minute. So if you guys can log out of Quizbit and log back into Quizbit, so kwbit.com and enter the code. Q five one six eight two. And I won't waffle on tonight. I'll just go straight through the questions because we've wasted lots of time. Chris. Yeah. Q51682. Yeah. Yeah, well, everyone's joining, so. There you go. So, yeah, I can see everyone joining. So that's good. So, it's Q51682. Okay, I'm sorry about this, guys. Obviously, last week went smoothly, and I thought it would be better to use a different camera, not to enhance my perfect, uh, complexion, obviously, because I'm pale, because there's been no sun. Uh, but, yeah, we've got loads of teams joining in at the minute. We've got 15. We had 32. We need them guys back. So if anyone knows anyone who's playing, uh, just need to obviously get them the new code and tell them to log out and log back in. Uh, that's as easy as it will be, really. I'll grab my tea while we're doing that. And then hopefully, in a couple of minutes, we can be back up to where we were. There's 15 players. Uh, my phone has died. I had all day to plan this, and it's all gone wrong. <laughs> but a little bit of comedy, as we all need it right now, because uh, we're all a little bit stressed. Okay, how many are we up to now? Still 15 players. We need a couple more players. You know, we had 29 last week. We did have 32, so my apologies. Um, 
I don't think I can actually tell anyone else on Facebook if it's working or not. Because not everyone's going to be... Yeah, hopefully everyone can read their own Facebook pages without me having to do that for them. Uh, there's 20 people on there now, so that means we've got 16 people who've joined, which means another four who need to go. So if you log out of your quiz bit, log back into kwbit.com and enter Q51682. Q51682. Okay, we'll give it a couple more minutes and then we'll crack on. And we won't do this again next week. We'll use this computer because my old computer is the best computer. Okay. One minute. And uh, James, did you put the uh, new link on uh, our page, yeah? We've got 18 players. Yeah. Yep, my friend sees logging in, so. Okay, so we have 18 players. So that's 21 people on YouTube viewing it. So that's another three that needs to log in. So kwbit.com and then enter Q51682. Okay. It doesn't matter, Tim uh, or Linda, if it's lowercase q, just q51682. That should get you straight on. Uh, if you haven't already, this is q. I'm looking for you. Tim's on there. So Tim's joined in. Tesco Bins. Is that you, Linda? <laughs> no, it's not you, Linda. Surely. Sends a message. Caps. I don't think you need caps. Just you could try caps. I mean, on my end, it's capital Q five one six eight two. I don't think that's uh, that's really important. I think it's just the Q five one six eight two would work. Uh, <laughs> Paul Roberts, let's just void it now and call it. Yeah, no, 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 no. Equal teams. Right, we're back up to 20. I'm so sorry that we couldn't have a full amount of teams tonight because uh, we did have 32 and that was looking really fun. Oh, there we are. Stella Burton, thanks. I do need some help. Uh, it's just the software on the new computer. That's all it is. It's just uh, new computers aren't always the best. So, next week, we'll stick with my old one, Okay. Reply to you there, Stella Burton. Or Mr. W. Right, I don't know if my friends from home are on there or not, but uh, if Mr. Lee Addison wants to play, you need to go on kwbit.com and then type in Q51682. And my dad was trying to play earlier, and I don't know if he's logged in or not, because I can't see his name on here. But uh, all the way from Grimsby, not where I'm from, obviously, Dan Glebels. Well, uh, welcome, Dan Glebels. So we're up to 20 players. I'd say it's late, but we haven't really got much else to do tomorrow, have we, guys and girls? So all I need to do is just not waffle all the way through it, and then we should get through the questions quite quick. Yes, well, not too quick, because obviously we want to have a bit of fun. Okay, don't forget, the prize is £20, so when you do return to the Nags Head, hopefully you all do, the prize will be waiting for you. So, yeah, whenever you want to use it. 
That's fine. I tell you, quid bar tab. Yeah. You all mentioned the uh, thousands and thousands of pounds of beer that had to go down the drain the other day, but hey ho. Sure. Right, we're up to 21 players. I think going by obviously the amount of players we lost, they probably got fed up with waiting. So what we could do is just crack on. Uh, just need to know if uh, Lee's on there. Yeah, or my dad or anyone else who wants to have a go. Uh, yeah, are we going to play? It, uh, Tim, is your Mrs. Jane on? Yes, yes, she is. Okay, just found you. It's Steph playing again. Didn't want to be, be last. Uh, you wouldn't be last, Tim. You'd never be last. Second from bottom. Oh, there you go. Jane's on. Yeah, that's fine. So, Tim, Linda. Uh, the code is, let me just scroll up. Somebody else is asking for the code. So it's Q51682. So if I'm on your TV, Mr. Addison, it's Q51682. We should get big writing behind me next week. It will say the code. Uh, and this is our lovely new room that we've decorated and tidied in the... Uh, in the midst of doing not much, really. But uh, I hope all you guys have been safe and uh, you're keeping to the quarantine. She you don't want to get this. <sighs> oh, I can still hear you there, Jamesy boy in the background. JJL, Tim Cowell, Dan Gleevels, Rebel Schmidt, and won it six times is back. I like that. Okay, so we're up to 22 players. So it's Q five one six eight two. So if you're on the old game, totally log out and then log back in and type in kwbit.com, just start a whole new feed and then type in Q five one six eight two. That's all you gotta do. And that'll link you straight onto this one. And like I said, my apologies. That we have been playing around with this all day and we thought we had it up and running, but obviously not. And that's due to obviously new technology doesn't work always. All technology is better. Just try something different, try a different name. Floppy Blossers. People are still logging in, so that's good. Just somebody just said to me that the code wasn't working. Uh, yeah, it's working on this side because we have now 23 teams, so it shows obviously the code is working. I won't scroll up on that one. Okay, I think with the amount of teams we should just crack on and have a go, yeah? Thumbs up, yeah, let's do the quiz. Right, so if any of you do join in late, you should be still able to join in, but uh, I think what we're gonna do for now is gonna start the quiz, okay? Otherwise we'll be up till 12 o'clock. You ready, wife? No, okay. Steph's not playing at the minute, Tim, so you're in with a chance. Give me your phone. Okay, right. We're going to have a go, guys. There's 26 people viewing. I guess that's three people who can't log in. So my apologies. Next week, I was 27 people. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to crack on, guys and girls. Okay. Right, we're going to start the first round. Now, that it works, as you probably know from last week. You have six rounds, 12 questions in each round. At the end of, eight, end of each round, you'll have a evil question. Now, the evil question means, basically, if you answer it wrong, you lose a lot of points. Uh, if you don't answer it, you'll lose a lot of points. But if you also answer it right, you'll get a lot of points. So 
So it's one of the questions you need to just have a go at. Uh, it all makes sense in the end. Uh, now, fastest finger, closing that one. You get more po points for the fastest finger. So the faster you answer the questions, the better. Uh, and this is how this game works. And it's really easy. You'll get a few picture rounds. You'll get some trivia rounds, uh, general knowledge, music, uh, a lot of different ones. Uh, but it's a bit of fun. If anyone's signal drops out, don't worry. It'll move on to the next section, next question even. And at the end of this, uh, the question, it'll just it'll know that you've logged out. So just clear the next question, and it'll uh, adjust the scores accordingly. Okay? Right. First round. Okay, so this is the headlines. Now, it's 12 questions of general knowledge all relating to the news from across the world. Some of it will be fun. Some of it will be about coronavirus, I'm sure. Uh, even I did ask them to check them out, so they might have done that one. Uh, but let's see how it goes. Okay, so start round one. Don't know if you can hear the music. But with a... Okay. Question one, you need to type the correct number. Okay, so on this one, all you need to do is type the correct number. Okay, and what date in March did the Prime Minister of the UK announce the closure of our poor pubs? So on what date in March did the Prime Minister of the UK announce the closure of our pubs? Ooh, a lot of fast people. Okay, so the correct answer was the 20th. That was right. So we've been closed and in confounds for two weeks tomorrow. Terrible. Uh, pecking heads, fastest finger there. The only because you were in the pub when it happened. So you really should lose points for that one because it's cheating. Okay. Uh, next question. Choose one answer from the four options on this one. Uh, which video game is offering free lessons to school children under June the until June the 1st. So which video game is offering free lessons to school children until June the 1st? Okay. Ooh. Everyone's answering really fast on this one. I like it. So that's 23 teams all answered correctly by the look at it. Oh no, 24. Who else is about it? Oh, there's a few teams not. Tim. Minecraft. Best game ever. Minecraft. Yes. Many times spent with Bradley and Jake. Brilliant game. Not that you get a goal. Uh, fastest answer, though, was Phil. Well done, Phil. Fastest answer on that one. Okay. So question three goes, a feud between Tyler Swift and Kim Kardashian was reignited as a recorded phone call about the lyrics in which Kanye West song was leaked. Okay, so a feud between Tyler Swift and Kim Kardashian was reignited as a recorded phone call about the lyrics in which Kanye West song was leaked. Tim, if there's a massive lag, I'm sorry, it should be generally for everyone, but I guess it's because a lot of people are on the internet. Probably that. Okay. Uh, Peaky Blinders, fastest finger on that one, so extra points for you. Uh, and the correct answer was famous. So if you didn't know that, now you do. Okay. Question four is a picture question. Okay. Now, a picture will pop over to your device, whatever that will be. Uh, and all you got to do is answer it. Okay. So this is the CEO of which company? So this is the CEO of which company? I'll go a bit slower because obviously if your lag is 10 seconds, you probably won't get the answer straight away. But if 10 seconds has worked. Thank you. 
Uh, we have a fill on their uh, Karen Phillips. Okay, uh, so the correct answer was Sports Direct, and the fastest finger went to one it six times. Well done, so you get the extra points for that one. Okay, question five is you need to choose one answer from the four options, okay? Which celebrity chef has called for people to begin growing their own food during lockdown? So which celebrity chef has called for people to begin growing their own food during lockdown? Now, this is a bit weird, because how long does it take to grow a potato? Probably not there. Probably we will open by then, I think. But there we are. Takes months to grow food. Okay, a few more teams. Okay, so it was Jamie Oliver, as he knows all the best about keeping his business open. Uh, he says it would be good people to reconnect with their food. And Game of Thrones got it fast as finger. Well done, Game of Thrones. Okay, so question six is like a number round. So you need to type the correct number for this one. Uh, Disney Plus launched in the UK on what date last month? So Disney Plus launched in the UK on what date last month? Hmm. Still trying to join. The few people getting this one wrong. Who's got the fastest finger? Okay, so the answer was the 24th. And the fastest finger was Tyler Fox. Well done, Tyler Fox. Okay, question seven. Choose one answer from the four options in this one, ladies and gents. Which Premier League football club offered its stadium to the NHS to help treat coronavirus? Okay, which Premier League football club offered its stadium to the NHS to help treat coronavirus? Next week we'll have some sound effects. I just couldn't get this little device to work either. So that'll be next week. Okay, so the answer was Watford. Yeah, Vicarage Road is situated next to Watford General Hospital. Uh, Tyler Fox, well done with the fastest finger in that one. Extra points for you. And that's what it's all about, ladies and gents. Fastest finger. Extra points. £20 on the way. Okay, question eight. Choose one answer from the four options. Which of the following songs is to be inducted into the U.S. Library of Congress National Recording Registry this year? So which of the following songs is to be in inducted into the U.S. Library of Congress National Recording Registry this year? Got a one in four chance. Oh, Stella Burton, you got that quite quick. Another couple of seconds. Okay, so the correct answers were YMCA, the village people. Go figure. Uh, it's being deemed as audio that is culturally historical or aesthetically significant. Mind blown. Not the dragons. Fastest finger on that one, though. So well done to you guys and girls. Okay, question nine is a picture question. Uh, this company is preparing to celebrate what birthday this year? So this company is preparing to celebrate what birthday this year? Sega.
Obviously, not a lot of people out there with a lot of computer knowledge. Obviously, I'm one of them, hence the video interruption earlier. Okay, it's uh, the 60th birthday. Well done, Mr. Johnson. Respect to family. Yes, uh, that's my cousin back in uh, Middlesbrough. He's living at the minute. Up the borough. Uh, choose an one answer from the four options for question 10. Okay. Which football manager has donated 1 million euros to fight coronavirus in Spain? So which football manager has donated 1 million euros to fight coronavirus in Spain? Whoa, you're all very fast on this one, so everyone knows the football. Hmm. Two seconds. For yours, will be ten seconds to lag. Okay, so Tyler Fox, you got that fastest, and I'm going to try and pronounce this one. You obviously all know the answer. It was Pep Gordilola. Gidola. Pep Gordola. And again, pronunciation is not my best thing, so if that's wrong, doesn't matter. You guys got it right. Okay. So question 11, oh, this is a cor uh, correct number round. So all you need to do is type the correct number, okay? Now, it's a bit of a long one, this one. And the answers can be within 25 of the answer. Okay, so you could be within 25. Right, this fossilized remains of a worm-like creature has been discovered that may hold the key to explaining evolution. According to scientists, how many millions of years ago did this creature live? Gadolio, mate. Cheers, Paul Roberts. Well done. And no, it's not Tremors, Tim. Fantastic movie, though. But yeah, Tremors. Yes. The, yes the, uh, the answer was. 555. Tyler Fox, again, fastest finger on that one. We did have an interesting fact about it, but it's disappeared off the screen. Uh, yes, I shouldn't waffle on anyway, so we'll move on. Okay, so question 12 is the evil question. Okay, like I said before, if you answer it incorrectly, you'll lose some points. If you don't answer it, you'll lose some points. And if you answer it correctly, you'll get loads of points. Sorry, you can't give answers. Karen Phillips, you said you couldn't get on. I'm so sorry you couldn't get on. Uh, we'll try and get you on next week, hopefully. Okay. So recent studies of mammals show that females live how much longer than their male counterparts? So recent studies of mammals show that females live how much longer than their male counterparts? Let's see who's having a chat anyway. So, Tim, yeah, Tim, no idea. It's funny. Yeah, definitely not. Get it right, Paul. Tim, you're wrong. Uh, George Ruggers. <laughs> Ruggers. I don't know much about football either, Paul. Okay, so the correct answer for that one was 18.6%. And JJL had the fastest on that one. Welcome to the game there, JJL. First time we've seen you with the fastest finger. Not the first time you've answered something right, though. Well done. Okay, end of round. So at the end of the round, we'll go. We'll, we'll, no point doing all 23 teams. So we'll just go with the top four, okay? Uh, in fourth is Pecking Heads with 1,201 points. In third, we have Tyler Fox. Well done. 1,209 points. In second is Game of Thrones on 1,253 points. And in first is Mr. Johnson. Whoop, whoop, in 1,302 points. But that can all change in the next round, okay? Easy as that. This is how the game works. Nothing too taxing, nothing too daunting, and hopefully not too hard. Okay. Next round. Okay, so question one on the next round. Okay, uh, Mayim Bialik, known as Amy in the Big Bang Theory, holds a PhD in what area? So Mayim Bialik, again, pronunciation, if I get it wrong, known as Amy in the Big Bang Theory, 
holds a PhD in what area? Oh, obviously a lot of people watch Big Bang Theory. Oh, and the wife's on. She got logged in. Well done. See, so even if you couldn't get logged in earlier, you can still catch up and start playing. All you need to do is answer the questions in order. Uh, neuroscience was the answer and won it six times with the fastest finger. So an extra 100 points for your team. Well done. Okay, pick your question. Yes, question two. Uh, what side job does this actor have? So what side job does this actor have? Hmm. I wouldn't have a Scooby who this guy is. But hopefully you guys do. Like I said, the fastest fingers, more points. Okay, and his side job is a carpenter. Yeah, Nick Offerman has owned collective Offerman wood shop with products ranging from cutting boards to pencil holders. There they are, or pen holders. Okay, Rebel Schmidt, got that one right, the fastest finger, so 100 points for you. Uh, Schmidt, probably got that wrong again. Okay, question three, you need to choose two answers from the four options, okay? Which two of the following animated characters has Nick Kroll voiced? So which two of the following animated characters has Nick Kroll voiced? Tim, you hate Big Bang Theory. What's wrong with you? But Paul Roberts, agree. Okay, so Nick Big Mouth Gunter Singh. So Nick Big Mouth and Gunter Singh. Okay, and that was it for that one. Okay, question four. Tap these answers in the correct order. That's all you got to do. Tap the answers in the correct order. Organize the following celebrities in age order from youngest to oldest. So organize the following celebrities in age order from youngest to oldest. Okay, so the answers were Emma Stone, Lady Gaga, Michelle Obama, and then Ellen DeGeneres. And Mr. Johnson, you got that fastest finger there. Well done. Okay, question five. Tap the correct number. How old was Demi Lovato when she played Mitchie in Camp Rock? So how old was Demi Lovato when she played Mitchie in Camp Rock? If anyone has seen that one. And Tim, how can it be dumb? It's about science. Okay, so the answer for that one is 14. This was the movie that launched her to stardom, especially in the music business. Okay, Mr. Johnson, fastest finger, so well done, Billy. I'm assuming this is Billy, Mr. Johnson. If wrong, you can always type on here and I can see if I got it wrong. It's American humor, Tim, I know, but it's great. Okay, question six, choose one answer from the four options. What is the name of Chloe Kardashian's daughter? What is the name of Chloe Kardashian's daughter? Yet yeah, the wife is going to get this fastest finger. Okay, 
Ah, oh, she pressed the wrong button. I hear a scream. Ah. Oh. And the button she should have pressed was true. Yes, the name was chosen because it is traditionally a British name that means loyal. Okay, Thomas the Tank. Well done, Thomas the Tank. You got the fastest finger on that one, okay? Okay, question seven is a picture question. Okay, what is this actress' native language? What is this actress's native language? No, yeah, so it shows a lot of you like Mila Kunis. No, Mila Kunis. AKA Meg or Family Guy. Okay, yeah, it's Russian. Yeah, she was born in the Ukraine and lived there until she was seven before she moved to the United States. And pecking heads, fastest finger, well done, pecking heads. Okay, question eight. You need to choose two, two answers from the four options. Okay, which of the following couples from Love is Blind actually got married? So which of the following couples from Love is Blind actually got married? Have anyone seen that? I believe it's on Netflix. Oh, so nobody knows it. Oh, one person, two people. Yeah, apparently it's a really good show, but how anyone could do that. Okay, so the correct answer was Lauren and Cameron, Amber and Barnett. I wouldn't marry him even if he was near Barnett. That's a, it's a weird name. But yeah, it was Lauren and Cameron, Amber and Barnett. Or Barnett, as you probably pronounces it. Game of Phones got the fastest question answered there. So 100 points to you, Game of Phones. Well done. Okay, question nine is tap these answers in the correct order. Okay, so tap the answers in the correct order. Organise Jennifer Lopez's relationship history <laughs> in chronological order from the oldest to the most recent. Okay, so organise Jennifer Lopez's relationship history in chronological order from oldest to most recent. Ooh. He's had a few. If uh, Miss Lopez is playing, I do apologise, but you'll know it's true. Should be over 30, 30 answers on this one. Or we'll settle for two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Ajuni Noah, Chris Judd, Mark Anthony, and Alex Rodriguez was the correct order. Uh, but won it six times, got our fastest finger. So well done for uh, stalking Miss Lopez. Uh, <laughs> you were next on the list, apparently. Okay. Moving on. Okay. Question 10 is type the correct number. Okay, in what year did Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston get divorced? So what year did Jenna, Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston get divorced? Oh, well done, Mrs. Harland. Hey, hey, sneaking back up. Okay, there's a couple of you got this one right. It was 2005. Yeah, Dan, fastest figure though, Dan Gleeballs. Well done, Dan Gleeballs. Okay, question 11. Now, this is an evil question, even though we usually do an evil question on question 12. For some reason, it's dropped down a question on this one. So you need to choose one answer from the four options on this one. Internet trouble, Chris. Sophie Dawson. Don't worry, we will move on to the next question. It will pick up your scores. Uh, yeah, no, no one else is having any issues looking at the thing. No, that's fine. Just give it a second, Sophie, and it should pick back up on the next question, okay? He's still doing better than James. Okay, so choose one answer from the four options. 
what was Drew Barrymore's first movie? So what was Drew Barrymore's first movie? Oh, I wish I was playing because I know this one. Ooh. Well done, Mrs. Harland. Whoop, whoop. Everybody should know this one. Shame on you guys. A lot of you have got it wrong. Say 90%. It's actually altered. I would have got this wrong. Apparently, it was altered states. And the quiz fact is, although she had a somewhat big role in E.T., which would have been my answer, Drew actually debuted in the 1980s film Altered States with a small role. So, well done, Mrs. Harland. You got that right. Mr. Harland, you got it wrong. I think that's why a lot of us, we all thought it was E.T. Okay. So question 12, uh, in what year did Michael Jackson die? In what year did Michael Jackson die? Okay, so the answer was 2009. The King of Pop passed due to cardiac arrest on the 25th of June of 2009. And the fastest finger was Mrs. Harland. She can't cheat. She can't see the answers. She's in the front room. Okay. Okay, at the end of that round, we'll do it from fourth to first again, as normal. Okay, on fourth, won it six times with 828 points for that round. In third, Tyler Fox with 921 points. Uh, second, Peaky Blinders with 1,100 points. But in full position is Mrs. Harland with 1,153 points. And she said, in your face who? Tim, in your face, Tim. And she's in the front room, so she can't see it. And I can't actually see the answers until they pop up. So there's no cheating on this one. Uh, but that is in the first and the second round. That's how it stands. Okay, let's move it on. Okay, now this is British cities. How well do you know your British cities, ladies and gents? How well? Uh, Tim just says, ha, 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 love you, Steph. Jane Lloyd, Chris doesn't write the questions. Alan, yes, exactly, Alan. I don't write the questions. There's a fantastic company called Quizbit who do it all for me. Thank you, Elliot and Chris at Quizbit. Uh, let's have a look. Start round. Okay, so question one, choose one answer from the four options. Which actor plays Chief Inspector Chester Campbell in the TV series Peaky Blinders? So which actor plays Chief Inspector Chester Campbell in the TV series Peaky Blinders? Okay, and now a few people said they're getting a bit of a lag like Tim, so I'll go a little bit slower and I'll repeat the questions one or two times a bit more slow so you don't have to, uh, don't have to worry about the fastest finger. You should all be at the same point when I press the button. Big red button. Okay, Sam Neill. Yeah, fantastic, Sean, fantastic actor. Won it six times over fastest finger. Well done. Question two, choose one answer from the four options. Okay, on which island was the Duke of Edinburgh born? Okay, so on which island was the Duke of Edinburgh born? Okay, and the answer was Corfu. So well done, Tyler Fox. You got the fastest finger on that one. So extra 100 points for you this round, or that question even, on this round. Okay, question three. Choose one answer from the four options. Dr. Peter Grady 
was the central character in which H.G. Wells novel? Dr. Peter Grady was the central character in which H.G. Wells novel? Couple of seconds, just allow Tim to catch up. Tim says, got it wrong, but I'm loving the crown, damn it. The crown? Don't know uh, what you're insinuating or what you're trying to say you're watching. Never heard of it. Okay. Uh, the Invisible Man. Yes, yeah, JJL, fastest finger in that one. So well done, JJL. Uh, also a fantastic, the series. Okay, Tim. Right. Okay. Still no idea. Uh, the Invisible Man, fantastic movie, just come out as well. So hopefully when you all get back to the cinema, you'll be able to see it. Uh, or she, not as good as the book. Uh, question four, choose one answer from the four options. What was the title of Belinda Carlisle's only UK number one single? So what was the title of Belinda Carlisle's only UK number one single? Oh, a lot of you 80s boffins out there, I see. Well done. Yeah, we'll have an 80s night when we reopen. How's that? We'll do it in the garden as well. That'd be a good idea. James, James Peck, that is uh, your new job, planning the next event at the next when we shall open. Heaven is a place on earth, was the song. JJL, well done. 80s trivia buffin or boffin. Okay, question five is choose one answer from the four options. At which university did the Duke of Duchess of Cambridge meet? So at which university did the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge meet? And Tim, if you can hear me, as my lag slowed down a little bit for you? Give us a type. Or do you want me to slow down a bit? Okay, so St. Andrews was the answer. Team Smiley, Team Smiley, I like that name. So we all should be at the minute. Uh, Tim, no, your slag hasn't slowed down. Okay, better internet. Uh, next question. Choose one answer from the four options for question six. What type of clothing were Oxford bags? What type of clothing were Oxford bags? Okay. Oh, you're all very fast. Okay, so the answer was trousers, trousers. Team Smiley, again with the fastest finger. Well done, Team Smiley. You are catching right up. Your trousers. Okay, question seven. Choose one answer from the four. Alan Sunderland scored the winning goal for which club in an FA Cup final? Alan Sunderland scored the winning goal for which club in an FA Cup final? Should be 10 seconds, Tim. Oh, and the wife got it right. Good guess, though. Good guess. Oh, the onesie, doing very well. Arsenal, yeah, Tyler Fox all got the fastest finger on that one. Well done, Tyler Fox. Okay. Question eight, tap the correct number. How many men did the Grand Old Duke of York command? So how many men did the Grand Old Duke of York command?
Yeah, and if you knew the song, it was the Grand Old Duke of Yol. He commanded 10,000 men. Don't know the rest, but that's how it went. Mr. Johnson, well done. You knew your rhyme. Okay, moving on to question nine now. Choose one answer from the four options. Okay, now I apologize if I'm going a little bit fast. It's just because I do apologize for keeping you waiting half an hour earlier. So, which Australian actor played the title role in the film? Of film, as someone mentioned last week, Crocodile Dundee. Okay, which actor played Crocodile Dundee? Film. Okay, and the answer was Paul Hogan. Yeah, well done, Mr. Johnson. Fastest finger for you. So the extra points goes to the Johnson team, or Mr. Johnson team, anyway, because I see Mr. Johnson is playing also. Moving on now, type question 10. Choose one answer from the four options. Okay, Charlie Hull is a famous name in which sport? So Charlie Hull is a famous name in which sport? Tim, you having a go? Golf. Yeah, Tyler Fox. Tim, tell me if uh, your name didn't come up there, because I think you're the only one who not to answer that one. Was that a choice? Was that just the fact that he didn't come up, or Paul oh, played with there? They played with there. Well done, Paul Roberts. Okay, question 11. Choose one answer from the four options. Okay. Uh, I have. Yes, I did. Oh, you did answer. You did it right. Uh, Shelley Preston replaced Jay Aston as a member of which pop group? So Shelley Preston replaced Jay Aston as a member of which pop group? <laughs> okay books fizz yeah well done mrs harland the wife got a fastest finger on that one so she gets extra points okay so question 12 is the evil question okay again you know this works so i won't go into the details so who wrote the novel the vicar of wakefield who wrote the novel the vicar of wakefield who wrote the novel, The Vicar of Wakefield? <clears throat> nope, still some few people on, sir. Okay, fastest answer went to Phil, though. Well done, Phil. And it was Oliver Goldsmith. Oliver Goldsmith was the answer. Again, was this something you didn't know, Tim? Answers down the bottom. Okay, so at the end of that round, okay, in fourth, we have now Phil with 1,715 points. In third, though, respectively, with 1,841 points, at Peaky Blinders. Second, Pecking Heads has now come up with 1,845 points. We're taking pole position with a smashing 2,244 points is Tyler Fox. Well done, Tyler Fox. This is how the game changes. 
So anyone can win it at this point, okay? And all the scores get put together and it gets in a nice little box and the person who gets the top will get that prize, okay? And it's not registering on the game. Actually, it's, it does register, but I guess if you get it wrong, Tim, it will say blank. So blankety blank. Yep, looking at it, most people answer the questions. It's, it is registering, guys, so don't worry about that. Okay, so end round. Next round, this is a good one. It's a picture round. Picture this. So 12 questions, 12 images, 12 chances for the fastest finger first. Okay, let's see how it goes, ladies and gents. Okay, picture question. Now, this is going to be every question, so I'm not going to say a picture question at the beginning of it, but what is the name of Rick and Morty's character? What is the name of this Rick and Morty character? This is a, not a kid's program, but it is a cartoon. Yeah, I left it a little bit longer there to allow for this lag which a few people are saying they're having. Okay, Mr. Poppy Butthole. Pop Poopy Butthole is the answer. Rick considers him as one who's long been a dependable person or is uncertain how long they've known each other. But Rebel Schmidt is got it right. Rebel Schmidt, fastest finger. Okay, question, picture round two. Uh, everyone let me know. If you've got any problems with pictures coming through, let me know and just type it at the bottom of the screen. Uh, unfortunately, if you don't on the type where you can actually type, I won't get to know. Uh, so if you'll drop me in, uh, like a message on Facebook later on, uh, I'll see if there's any glitches we can iron out for next time. Okay, but the question for this one is, what is this character's real name in Lord of the Rings? So what is this character's real name in Lord of the Rings? Boom, you all know you're Lord of the Rings. Okay, yes, yeah. Schmeagol. The name of Gollum was derived from its sound as its disgusting, gurgling, choking cough. Tyler Fox got that one right, though. Fastest finger on it. Okay, which famous piece of literature did this author write? So, which famous piece of literature did this author write? Okay, right, so the answer was 100 Years of Solitude. Okay, Dan Gleeballs, you've got that on fastest finger. Uh, and thank you, uh, Emily, there for Rebel Schmidt, should be Rebel Scum. I cocked up. Not a problem, I remember that one. Schmidt is quite right. Okay, this is a scene from which movie? Okay, this is a scene from which movie? And looking at it, I should know this. Let's see if I'm right. Yep. 
It was Dunkirk. Okay, I would have thought it was uh, a tournament which was filmed on my local beach, uh, which I didn't get a part in, but never mind. But yeah, won it six times, got the fastest finger in that one. But the answer was Dunkirk. Well done. Okay, question five. What is the name of this computer? What is the name of this computer? Picture should be there now, guys and girls. Yeah, so see, Tim, you did answer right in this one, so I'm guessing your internet is working. And Tesco Bins, my local beach is real, but also is Red Car, which I keep bringing up on, where they filmed the tournament. Uh, Colossus Computer was the answer to that one. Originally invented as a way to speed up the cracking of the Enigma codes. It was first of many computers which have gradually shrunk in size to become part of everyday life. Interesting facts. Lewinzi, well done, fastest finger for you. Okay, question six. How many countries were part of this post-war union? Okay. Uh, how many pick sorry, how many countries were part of this post-war union? Hey, I'll allow, allow for a bit of your lag there, Timothy. So how many countries were part of this post-war union? I'm cold. Ugh, cold tea. Okay, it was 15. Politically, uh, the USSR was divided from 1940 to 1991 into 15 Union Republics, Armenia, Azerbaijan, I'm uh, not going on. There's a lot of other ones. Okay, but UTB up the borough. I'm assuming that's my good friend Lee Edison from Redcar. If not, my apologies, but up the borough. Got fastest finger. Well done. Okay, question seven. What is the Latin name of this fruit? Okay, so what is the Latin name of this fruit? Okay, so the uh, answer for that, the Latin name for this fruit was Malus Pumilla. Lamus Malus Pumilla. Yeah, Mr. Johnson got that one right. We also know it as the apple. Okay, picture eight. What is the name of this Polish food? So, what is the name of this Polish food? Picture should be there now. Answers on your way. Okay, so for the uh, answer for that one, Game of Thrones got it fastest, uh, and it's pronunciation thing again, but it's the uh, pierogi. Pierogi. That's how it looks. That's how I'm going to say it. Pierogi. Never had one, but it sure looks nice. Tim looked at the sounded Maltese. I just got it right. Yeah, thank you. Cheers, Tim. Okay, where can you find this famous landmark? So where can you find? Good to have a Polish wife. Oh, well done. Uh, where can you find this famous landmark?
Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear the tension music, but again, next week we'll have it louder. Adds to a bit of fun, doesn't it? Adds to the game. Okay, so the answer to that was Brazil. Yeah, fastest answer though goes to JGL. Yeah, Sugarloaf Mountain is a peak situated in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. There you go. Question 10. What is the name of this Spanish festival? What is the name of this Spanish festival? Yeah, only 10 people got that one in this one. It was uh, Cascamoras. Cascamoras. Every year, hundreds of Spaniards cover themselves in Greece to reenact the stealing of the famous statue of the... That's the quiz fact of the week. <laughs> Blowing my mind. Mrs. Johnson. Oh, well done, Mrs. Johnson. Okay, question 11. What is the name of this former football player? What is the name of this former football player? Sol Campbell, yeah, that was the answer. Uh, well done, the wins. Uh, it was first time with the fastest finger in that one. Dodgy defender, Paul Roberts says. Ooh. Yeah, you're probably right, to be fair. Uh, yeah, but the fastest answer goes to the wins, so unfortunately, that one. Not unfortunately, well done. I just meant for you to win, uh, the, uh, Mr. Roberts. Okay, so question 12 is the evil question. Okay, so what is the name of this body part. Okay, so what is the name of this body part? Most footballers are dodgy, says Tim. Okay, there is only one, two, three, four, five, five people got this one right. Okay, but the answer was anatomical snuff box. The an anatomical snuff box. Yeah, it's called the anatomical snuff box because people placed their snuff there before snorting it in the 18th and 19th centuries. Mind blown. Paul is thick, isn't thick. He got it fast as finger. So well done, Paul is thick. Okay, so at the end of that round, in fourth, we have Team Smiley with 1,306 points. In third is Tyler Fox on 1,309 points. In second this time, though, is Game of Thorns with 1,369 points. And in first is Rebel Commit, or as we now know, it's Rebel Scum, 1,374 points. Well done. That's, uh, is the, the, the league table is changing very, very quickly, and it's all in the next rounds. Okay. So well done, round five. This is uh, for all you sports lovers, this one. This is a sports round. So how's your sport knowledge? Here's 12 questions. We'll see how it goes. Okay. And after this round, we'll have a short break, okay? Just a short break, a couple of minutes, let you go refresh, go to the toilet, 
grab a cigarette or grab a beer or a wine or a gin and tonic, whatever your tipple is. Okay. So question one, you need to choose one answer from the four options. Okay. James Nismith, Nismith is famous for inventing which sport? James Nismith is famous for inventing which sport? Oh, Tim knows a bit about sport, but not as fast as Team Scum, Rebel Scum. Six seconds. Okay, so the correct answer and the fastest finger goes to Mrs. Q. Well done, Mrs. Q. Nice to see you with the fastest finger. Uh, it's basketball. Well done, yeah. Okay, picture round, well, picture question even. Who won this tournament? So who won this tournament? Oh, I'm lucky, Mrs. Q. Sorry. Next question. Okay, it's Italy. Yeah, the A team. Well done, the A team. You got that fastest finger. So the answer was a uh, Italy for that round in 2006. Okay, question three is you need to choose two answers from the four on this one, okay? Which two of the following footballers are brothers? Which two of the following footballers are brothers? Oh, only a few getting this one right. Okay, so the correct answers were Socrates and Rai, Rai, R-A-I, Socrates and Rai. Anyway, the fastest person to get that was the A team. So next question. Okay, question four, choose these answers in the correct order. Okay, so tap these answers in the correct order. <clears throat> Organize the following Formula One drivers from least to most championship wins. Okay, so organize the following Formula One drivers from the least to the most championship wins. One more, guys. Yep, yeah, there we are. Okay, yeah. So it's Nigel Mansell, Fernando Alonso, Sebastian Vettel, and Lewis Hamilton. Yeah, Nigel Mansell at number one, Fernando Alonso second, Sebastian Vettel fourth, and Lewis Hamilton sixth. Okay, and the fastest fingers won it six times. You got the fastest question on that one. So an extra 100 points to you guys and girls, whoever's playing with your team today. Okay, so question five, tap the correct number. Don't touch, don't touch face, Chris. <laughs> hmm. How many NBA championships did Michael Jordan win with the Chicago Bulls? So how many NBA championships did Michael Jordan with, with the, win with the Chicago Bulls? Go on, Mrs. Q. Okay, correct answer was six. So, won it six times is the sixth 
answer. Like it. See what I did? Linked it with your name. So yeah, won it six times. Answer was six. Okay, moving on to question six. This picture question. What is the name of this sport? So what is the name of this sport? Fastest finger can be good, but think about it, guys. There's a lot of people not getting that one right. Mm. Okay, so the correct answer for that one, though, is Sepak Takro. Sepak Takro. Baseball sounds cool, though. Bossaball. Bossaball sounds cool, though. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's a native to Southeast Asia and similar to volleyball, except players can use anything but their arms. Wow. Yeah. Up the borough, or UTB, fastest finger on that one. Okay, so question seven. Choose one answer on this one from the four. In which of the following golf tournaments did Tiger Woods win by 12 strokes in 1997? So in which of the following golf tournaments did Tiger Woods win by 12 strokes in 1997? And the strokes never came from his lady friends. If anybody leaves a comment, Tim, James, probably. You're very naughty boy. Okay, the Masters, yeah, is in the tournament. He set the record for his first major championship win. <laughs> Tim, I agree. Uh, fastest answer, though, went to the A-team. Well done, the A-team. Okay, question eight. Choose two answers from the four options on this one. In which two years did the Green Bay Packers win the Super Bowl? In which two years did the Green Bay Packers win the Super Bowl? Tim, I will not reply to that. I'm going to take a screenshot, though, to show your wife, a wife-to-be. Okay, so the uh, answer was that was 1967 and 1968. Okay, with Mrs. Johnson, well done, though. You got it fastest. Well done, fam. Okay, question nine is a tap the correct number. Okay. In rugby league, a try is worth how many points? So in rugby league, a try is worth how many points? Come on, pecking heads. You watch rugby every time it's on at the next. Still got it wrong. Don't name and shame anyone in this show. Or do we? Okay, so the right answer was four. Four. Tyler Fox got the fastest and the correct answer on that one. Okay, question 10, a picture question. Okay, what is the name of this boxer? So what is the name of this boxer? Okay, so the correct answer is <laughs> Lomachenko, Vasil Lomachenko, nicknamed the greatest. He is widely regarded as one of the most significant and celebrated sports figures of the 20th century as one of the greatest boxers of all time. Not that I can pronounce the name, but I'm going to go Vasil Lomachenko. That's probably right. But the A team, you got that fastest, so you get the extra 100 points on that one. 
not long to the end of the game. So this is how you get the points up. Okay, so question 11, choose one answer from the four options on this one. Okay, what is Canada's national sport? What is Canada's national sport? Kathy Hurst, I know sports isn't the best for me either, but uh, next round is anyone's game. You're doing okay, though. Lacrosse, yeah, Canada declared lacrosse to be the Canada's national sport, summer sport, with ice hockey as its national winter sport. So lacrosse, Lewinzi, you've got it fastest finger on that one, so the extra hundred points brings you up a bit. Okay, question 12, Eva, question, yes. So type the correct number, that's all you gotta do in this one. Okay, so answers can be with five of the answer. So that's all you gotta do, you can get in between five, five more, five less, let's see how it works. So how many medals did China win at the Beijing Olympics in 2008? So how many medals did China win at the Beijing Olympics in 2008. And Tim, yeah, hockey is the winter sport, not the summer sport. Okay, uh, correct answer went to Mrs. Harland. Well done, wifey. Uh, I should complete guess, but a guess is as good as any. So like a home goal. A uh, hundred is the answer. A hundred. Okay, so results at the end of that one. In fourth on this time is won it six times. And I have to say Mrs. Harland's in fifth. I don't usually do fifth position or anything lower. Uh, but well done, Mrs. Harland, only because I'll get a cliff if I don't mention her. Uh, won it six times, 935 in fourth. Tesco Bins in third with 1,018 points. In second, Pecking Heads with 1,122 points. But in pole position on first is Tyler Fox. Well done, Tyler Fox. 1,292 points. So you can see there isn't a lot of difference between them. Every time you get the fastest finger, you get the 100 points. Okay, so that's how it works. Now we've got one more round, uh, but I'm sure a lot of people maybe want to go for a quick tinkle or refresh your beverage or have a cigarette, whatever your poison is. Uh, I'm going to go to the toilet and I will be back in two minutes. Okay, so next round is the last round and everything to play for. So go refresh your drinks and we'll see you in two, okay?
Right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. Are you all back? Let's hope you are. Give a couple of seconds just in case people uh, get this 10 second delay that we keep talking, hearing about. But uh, yeah, when everyone's up and back at the seats, movie round is all mine. Tim, bring it on. How do you know it's a movie round? I haven't decided yet. Food and drink round, please, Jane Lloyd. <laughs> Right. See, there's no way for me to tell if everyone's back. So I'm assuming because I said two minutes, you were all sat comfortably and you've all replenished your drinks. And uh, gentlemen, because you were in self-isolation and uh, you're not allowed out, when you sprinkled and you tinkled, I hope you're sweet Ian, wipe the CD for the good ladies. Okay. Right. So I'm guessing everyone's back. So I'm going to crack on with the next round. Okay. Okay, this is the chain round. Every answer, hang on, didn't post it on my Facebook, but it didn't say a movie list post. No, nope, it is not a movie, it is a chain round. So basically every answer is related to the next question. Okay, so every answer to the first question will relate to the second, and then the second to the third, and so on and so on and so on. Okay, are you all ready? Last round. Okay. Question one, choose one answer from the four options. Okay, in which US state is Atlanta? In which US state is Atlanta? And say everyone's answered it right. Oh, nearly no, no, there's a few people still time now. Okay, and the answer was Georgia. And the fastest finger there, so the extra hundred points taking you up there on this round is one at six times. Well done. Okay, question two choose one answer from the four options. Okay, which singer has seven children called Caris, Jade, Elizabeth, James, Georgia, Gabriel, and Lucas? So which singer has seven children called Caris, Jade, Elizabeth, James, Georgia, Gabriel, and Lucas? Okay, so the correct answer, and the fastest finger went to Tyler Fox, and it's Sir Mick Jagger. Yeah. Oh, I think that was more of a Cliff Richard impression, but uh, moving on. Okay, question three. Choose one answer from the four options. Which singer topped the UK charts with the song Swagger Jagger? So which singer topped the UK charts with the song Swagger Jagger? Cher Lloyd. Yeah, Cher Lloyd was the answer to that one. Pecking heads. You got the fastest finger in that one. So next hundred points for you. So Cher Lloyd. Okay, question four. Choose one answer from the four. What was the title of Sony and Cher's only UK number one hit single in the UK charts? So what was the title song? Sorry, the title of Sony and Cher's only UK number one hit in the UK charts.
I don't know this one, but by the looks of it, a lot of you do. Seven seconds. Okay, I got you, babe, was the answer there. Mrs. Johnson, no, with the fastest finger, so I got you, babe. Okay, moving on, next question. Question five, choose one answer from the four. Which member of Take That wrote their number one hit, Babe? So which member of Take That wrote their number one hit, Babe, or Babe? James, you're ashamed of your missus right now. Why? Because she knew that one. Tell if Jane got that one. Gary Barlow, pecking heads. You got our fastest there, so don't blame the wife. James Peck, she got the share Lloyd question. That's nothing wrong with that one. Okay, question six. Choose one answer from the four. What is the name of Peter Barlow's son in Coronation Street? What is the name of Peter Barlow's son in Coronation Street? A lot of Coronation fans, I see. Let's see if the wife got it. No. Okay, so the correct answer was Simon and the fastest finger on there. So the extra points go to the A team. Well done, A team. Question seven. Choose one answer again from the four. Okay. Which film actress was married to singer Paul Simon in the 1980s? So which film actress was married to the singer Paul Simon in the 1980s? It was Carrie Fisher, Rebel Schmidt, or Scum, as we know her. Uh, fastest answer on that one. So, yeah, it was Carrie Fisher, Star Wars, Princess Leia. Pecking heads, obviously, got that one. Okay, so question eight. Choose one answer from the four options on this one. Who wrote the tale of Jeremy Fisher? Who wrote the tale of Jeremy Fisher? Who wrote the tale of Jeremy Fisher? Okay, it was Beatrix Potter. Yeah, not a Scooby. Obviously, she has a Scooby because you got it right. Fastest finger as well. So an extra 100 points takes you up. Okay, question nine. Choose one answer from the four. In which TV series did Peter K star as a wheelchair-bound club owner, Brian Potter? So in which TV series, series did Peter K star as a wheelchair-bound club owner, Brian Potter? Yeah, easy that one. Easy. <clears throat> Phoenix Knights. Yeah, you definitely knew that one. Pecking heads, though. You knew it fastest, so you get the points. Well done. Yeah, Phoenix Knights. Okay, so question 10, 
Choose one answer from the four options. And don't forget, there are only a couple of questions to go. So the fastest you answer it, the better to get you up the scoreboard. Okay. In which city did the Phoenix Park murders take place in 1882? So in which city did the Phoenix Park murders take place in 1982? Well, okay, it was Dublin. Yeah, fastest answer though, JJL. Well done, JJL, City of Dublin. Okay, so question 11. Okay, according to the song, who sold cockles and mussels in Dublin's fair city? So according to the song, who sold cockles and mussels in Dublin's fair city? Aye, we do remember Dublin, don't we, Tim? You shouldn't, to be fair. Seems you fell asleep. On what I will not mention. Molly Malone. Again, JJL with the fastest finger on that one. So well done, Molly. Uh, JJL with Molly Malone. And Tim's texting. Uh, I have some mock. <laughs> well done, Jim. Yeah, we should mock him. Yeah, answers on a postcard where Tim fell asleep. Uh, if you get the answer there, I'll be a pint in it for you if someone can tell me, and not the people near him who know him mostly. Okay, okay. Right, okay, so the evil question is the last question. Okay, so this is everything to play for. Again, if you get it wrong, you lose points. If you don't answer it, you lose points. But if you answer it right, you'll get lots of points. Uh, Tim Cowell, you can't answer the same question. And James, you already know, so you can't get the point. Sam Malone was the central character in which TV series? So Sam Malone was the central character in which TV series? Okay, yep, and the answer was cheers. Yeah, I want to go where everybody knows my name. Nags head. Cheers. Yeah, Tyler Fox, so fastest finger in that one. So hopefully we've seen you at the Nags head because everybody knows your name. Tyler Fox, well done. So that was the end of the game and the end of the round. But the end of that round, in fourth position, is Stella Burton of 1,973 points. Only on 2,006 points ahead of you there, Stella Byrne, was Mrs. Johnson in third. Just ahead in second was Pecking Heads with 2,043 points. But in first place, Tyler Fox, 2,128 points on that round. Well done. Uh, Mrs. Harland, she's in fifth. I could go down six Tesco girls. Mrs. Jo Mrs. Johnson, seventh. Phil, eighth. Ninth, the A-team. Not a Scooby in tenth. Rebel Schmidt or Scum in 11th, up the borough 12th, 13th still stuck in, 14th was JGL, 15 Peaky Blinders, 16 Not the Dragons, 17 Dan Gleevels, 18 Team Smiley, 19 The Winsy, 20 Game of Thrones, 21st The Wins, 22nd won it six times, and 23rd Tim Cowell, Mrs. Q in 24th, 25th Paul's Thick, but he's not, 26th Thomas the Tank, Tim Cowell, Again, two Tim Cowles. For some reason, you've opened two accounts. Uh, it goes on from there. Let's have a look. Right, so end of the round. So congratulations to the other ones. So it showed leaderboard. Okay. Now, this is what we all want to know. Who won the quiz? So this is conglomerating all the points together. Okay. Now, I'm going to go in the top ten. Okay, now, Lewinzi, you came 10th with 6,056 points in total. Nine, Rebel Scum, 
6,002 points. Eighth place won it six times with 6,134 points. Seven was Mrs. Harland on 6,184 five points. Sixth place was Tesco Bins. Well done, Linda. 6,220 6, points. Mrs. Johnson, fifth place, 6,229. Fourth, Stella Burton. So you weren't far off winning there, Stella Burton. 6,592 points. In third, these are the most important, Peaky Blinders, 7,087 points. Second place was the Pecking Heads. Well done, Pecking Heads. 7,973 points. But with an incredible 9,103 points is Tyler Fox. So well done, Team Tyler Fox. You get a £20 bar tab. We should be waiting as soon as we reopen, once everything is blown over. We're not the Winchester, we're the Nags Head. So when it is all blown over, I hope you all come back and see us. We are missing you all, and I hope you are missing us. You know, all our team are housebound, so it's not like we can actually go anywhere. Uh, but no, I hope you all enjoyed the quiz, guys. I'm sorry about the slight hiccup at the beginning. Uh, don't use new technology is the motto of this one. Uh, next week, if you have any suggestions how you'd like us to do it, whether it be Facebook Live, uh, the app called Zoom, which is quite good. We can actually see everybody as people. Or we can just do it as YouTube, like we're doing. Uh, it works using this computer. I can't see you. You can't see me. You can Well, you can see me on the TV, but I can't see you. It's nice to see, obviously, people leaving comments. We really appreciate that. It shows, obviously, that the quiz is making a bit of a difference. Uh, so, yeah, so if you've got any suggestions, if you leave us some uh, feedback on our Facebook page, we do a, uh, a post before the event, uh, but there's no reason you couldn't leave us a couple of suggestions, uh, whether or not be a personal message or just on the uh, the actual link we put on today. Uh, we'll do it again next Thursday, same time, same back channel, as I say, I guess, unless we change the, uh, the channel. Uh, yeah, no, I really enjoyed it. Thank you for all taking part. Uh, reading, I'll read through your comments and I'll try and reply to every single one of you. Uh, Till next week, uh, stay safe, stay COVID-19 free, and uh, we'll hopefully see you all back at the next Ed very, 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 very soon. Uh, love all from the next Ed, even though it's only me here at the minute. Okay. Love you all. Okay. Good night.